Okay, the state of Virginia's most awarded distillery is right down the road in Percival. Catoctin Creek Distilling Company has more than 110 company and product awards combined. And the founder, <laughs> Scott and Becky Harris, are here with us now, along with a new addition yes. to the distillery. Well, a couple year addition, right? Is Otto? <laughs> Yes, he's the chief of security. Oh, so he's, he's always hanging around the distillery. He doesn't right? mind getting some of these cherries oh. every now and then too. So. I bet. What a year it's been for you guys. What was it like during the pandemic? What were you able to, you know, enact and enable and continue? It was a real challenge. Um, you know, we we pivoted to video, like so many people doing um, Zoom events, and um, you know, we the Virginia has allowed us to start shipping within Virginia, and we've oh, you know kind oh. of moved to more direct to consumer kind of commerce where it's legal. Yeah. Yeah. So we we kind of have uh, we have a platform online now where you can actually buy the products, and it's Virginia oh. Spirits Month, so 20% off if you go to oh, buyvirginiarye.com. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> she, she snuck that in there. Uh -huh. That's, really good, huh? That's very That's really good. good. Okay, I don't want us to run out of time for the cocktail. So yeah, what are we making? Cocktail. Let's All get right. this started. So what I like about um, fall is like we're sort of going to hold on to the last bit of summer, right? Yes. And so we got these wonderful summer cherries. And um, and one of the ways that you can preserve your summer food um, is by turning it into booze, basically. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, here, we've got some um, cherry bounce. Basically, you can take cherries that are picked, sour cherries work best, and you put them in with um, some whiskey and let it sit every six oh. weeks with some sugar. And oh. that creates basically a cherry cordial that's really nice. Oh. Now, I'm gonna make a cocktail with that um, called the Ric Flair. This was a cocktail that was essentially um, invented by a guy named Rick Newton, who used to be at Dino's Grotto down here in DC. Huh. And uh, it's a, it's a Kind of like an old fashioned, but it's got that um, cherry influence in it. I was gonna say, are you a wrestling fan? Is that where the name <laughs> comes from? His name was Rick, and so he was a wrestling fan, Ric Flair. It's uh, where the name yeah, comes yeah, from. Okay, so okay. this should land you like a big backflip on a mat or something <laughs> like that. Was so that whiskey that you put in first? That was yeah. the whiskey, that okay. was the Roundstone Rye. So I started with okay. um, the Roundstone Rye, and here is a little bit of that cherry cordial that I have. It's thick, like yeah, oh, it's like a syrup. Yeah. It tastes okay. exactly like cherries. It's like wow. wonderful, Mind wonderful if stuff. I smell that while you're Please, <laughs> please. Yes. We're gonna do a little bit of Amaro, which is a, basically an Italian bitter liqueur to give it a little mm, bit of backbone. So. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's good. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're going to um, use a little bit of Italian vermouth as well. And this just gives it more body, more structure, more deliciousness. All right, yeah. and then a couple dashes of two different kinds of bitters. So we've got our oh, <laughs> um, cocktail bitters here, and then we've got our orange bitters here. One One of the I think Otto smell in the chair. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He totally does. <laughs> All right, and now we're just going to stir that for a brief moment. One of the fun things about cocktails is you can kind of play around with things in your kitchen. It's it's like cooking. Mm. You're mixing things that you have on hand and make something delicious, and it's. You know, we when, when Scott does the Art of the Cocktail in January, one of the things we do on that Zoom event is kind of teach people to get comfortable making themselves a cocktail. Right. Mm. You know, you get used to nice. seeing these amazing cocktails at bars and restaurants, right. and yeah. you think, oh, this is way too hard. But you know, you can do this. You can do it at and home. Scott's a professional. No. <laughs> well, I'm a highly trained amateur. So, <laughs> so then we're going to just pour in here. It's really pretty. And that's gorgeous. It, and all your awards, too. I mean, clearly, it, you've backed up what you have been putting out. Well, we try. I mean, we, we, first of all, we, we love what we do, so we put everything we have into it. And I think maybe that's the secret, right? Is that you just yeah. leave nothing on the and table. And when you start Passion. with amazing ingredients, that's where you Thank get. You. And so, and cheers, Kristen. Yeah, cheers. cheers Congratulations. Thank it's been you. Incredible yes. so year. Much. Thank you. Get out Thank and you check out Catoctin Creek Distillery Company in Percival. They've got so many events coming up, especially in October. And go say hi. Yeah, say hi to Otto. Otto. <laughs>